Hi everyone, I'm Taklai and um, I'm here to, to bring you up to date with um, a very, very important write-up um, concerning um, Tigray. Um, so uh, this is a piece on the, uh, on the Foreign Policy magazine uh, by Kate Hickson and Kahindi Togan. Um, it's um, actually my, my first time. I have I have um, I had never uh, read from them before, but anyway, um, Kate Hickson is um, from the byline, the advocacy director for Africa at Amnesty International. Um, as you could see on the on the on the screen, I hope um, you could see everything. So right here. And um, Kahinda Togun is the Managing Director for Public Engagement at Humanity United. And the title of their piece, which is really, really um, well um, argued and well written piece, is Don't Let Ethiopia Off uh, the Hook. And it's a message directed to the United States government. And they... So basically, they make the point that the United States shouldn't... Um, well, let Ethiopia off the hook, um, as you could see um, from the title, um, in terms of um, justice and accountability um, in Tigray. And the, the piece um, says that the US has been trying to normalize relations with Ethiopia and with, uh, with Abiy Ahmed. Um, you will record the uh, determination by by the US um, I think it was by the US Treasury Department a couple of weeks ago that Ethiopia was no longer violating human rights um, and that Congress should lift um, any um, sanctions and, and restrictions on Ethiopia and of course, that was that was uh, that was a lie. That was a deliberate lie by by the United States. That was a pretense um, to normalize relations with Abiy, uh, because they want to. Of course, they want to do some sort of rapprochement for economic um, uh, relations and for other reasons, national interest reasons. So, in the piece, they argue that that would be that would be a wrong approach. Um, for the U.S. to follow um, for two reasons. Number one, it would be an insult to the victims in Tigray to brush aside the issue of, of justice and accountability um, in, favor of, in favor of national interest. And number two, they say that prioritizing um, the normalization of relationship um, over um, accountability and justice has always been a recipe for for, for, um, for for more conflict and for more war. And they mentioned example of Sudan. Um, in, in Sudan, the, the United States a couple of years ago prioritized um, short-term um, interests over um, holding abuses of human rights to account. And in the peace, um, in, the, in the piece that you see on the screen, the, the authors argue that that is always a, 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 the wrong approach to, to, to follow. And they advise the U.S. to not repeat the same mistake in Ethiopia. They say that the one of the foundations for, for a lasting peace in Ethiopia is to make sure that they that perpetrators of atrocities in Tigray um, held to account, not just from the Ethiopian regime side, but also from the Eritrean regime, from Amha forces, and from the uh, TPLF um, um, leadership as well. And so they, in particular, advise the US to do three things. Um, I'm just trying to go to the part where they advise the US um, what would, uh, right so these are the okay so maybe I'll, I'll, I'll read aloud that the whole paragraph there are three specific steps the United States can take as it moves toward re-engagement 
um, actively support a renewal of the mandate for the International Commission of Human Rights Experts on Ethiopia. We'll come back to, to this in a while. Which has been tasked with investigating and documenting human rights abuses in Ethiopia. So that is the first uh, piece of advice that the, the authors are um, giving the United States. Um, the second one is deploy senior diplomatic officials to engage on Ethiopia instead of mid-level bureaucrats who are currently running the show on Washington's behalf. Um, I think that's, um, that's a shot of people like uh, the U.S. Uh, ambassador to Ethiopia who, um, let's face it, is a, is a friend of, of the regime uh, and the people around her um, are also friends with the regime. So they can't be expected to be impartial facilitators of, of peace in Ethiopia. So the, the authors are correctly advising that the United States that serious people should be engaged in the process, not people who are strongly uh, steeped in the, um, in the social circles of, 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 of the regime. And finally, ensure that any domestic accountability process in Ethiopia that the United States endorses is in line with the wishes of survivors of the conflict. This is very, very powerful because all the um, talk of justice that we hear are not centered on on the wishes of 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 of, of Tigran um, survivors, because if Tigran survivors were made the center of everything, the first thing that any justice process wouldn't do is um, entrust the assignment to the Ethiopian regime, because no Tigran trusts the Ethiopian regime to deliver justice, because the Ethiopian regime itself is the, the main. Uh, perpetrator of, of, of crimes in Tigray. So it would be absurd, of course, to expect the Ethiopian regime to to hold itself to account. So um, any victim center approach would sideline the Ethiopian regime, the Eritrean regime, and the Amhara forces from the from the pro and the Tigran um, leadership from the process entirely. And so that is the, the, the third one. But the, the first one, in terms of the ICH um, RRE, um, as most of you will know, the, its, its mandate is going to end in September. And there is no way that in the in the time that they have had, they would have covered all the atrocities in Tigray because the sheer number of crimes and atrocities um, that have been committed in Tigray is just too great for the commission to have had enough time. And you will know that the commission hasn't had any access to, to Tigray. Um, so whatever investigation they have been doing, it's been done remotely. And everybody knows that they need more time to to cover even a, you know, a fraction of, of, of the atrocities committed in Tigray. But because of lobbying by the Ethiopian regime, there is a real uh, risk that its mandate is going to finish in September. And that is going to, again, that's going to be um, a huge um uh, abortion of, of of justice uh and so the authors are saying that the u.s using its leading position in um in in the u.n security council and in the u.n council of human rights should advocate for the extension of of the um of the commission's uh mandate but of course the the signs are that the u.s doesn't seem to be interested in advocating for, for, for the extension uh, because you, you would you, you would have noticed that the US is also um, has been trying to give credence to the so-called transitional justice um, that is being that is being uh, that is being advertised by the Ethiopian regime but the transitional justice um, uh, superheaded by the by the Ethiopian regime is for, for its own for its own purpose it's, it's not the transition of justice by the Ethiopian regime is for the purpose of exonerating the Ethiopian regime itself. There is no way that the Ethiopian regime will be interested in holding um, itself to, to account. And the U.S. should distance itself from giving any sort of credence to the transition of justice and instead advocate for the extension of, of the mandate of the um, U.N. Commission. And um, what was the, the second one? Uh, the second one was uh, what? We, yeah, the second one was I, I, again. It's, it's, um, it's um, self-evidently true. 
um, senior, serious people from the U.S. should be engaged in the in the process, not the kind of people that the U.S. has ha, has been sending to Ethiopia. Because um, I think, with possible exception of a uh, few of them, uh, maybe Mike Hammer could be um, reasonably thought to be an impartial observer. But the rest, um, and they are, they are open about it, they are um, aligned with the Ethiopian regime. And they, 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 they can't be expected to be impartial um, impartial players in, in, the, in the process. So the authors advise the United States to do these um, things. And they say that if you know, none of these things is done by the U.S., then there is no, there is no doubt that the issue of justice would just be um, thrown out of the window, and that would be that would be a travesty for um, for the grand victims. So, please, um, what? Let's try to advocate um, along those um, lines. Let's try to push for the extension of the UN Commission of Investigators to to be extended. Let's uh, try to advocate for. Um, for the U.S. to focus on justice, to prioritize justice um, over um, short-term considerations, um, and for the U.S. to to send um, serious uh, diplomats to the um, to the um, uh, process. So that is in terms of the uh, the article on the foreign policy. It's it's a really really powerful um, write-up, and I strongly recommend you to to read. But um, there is an interesting. Um, thing that happened lately. Um, is, is, uh, this is separate uh, from from this. But uh, um, the African Union, most of you will know that it had um, it had uh, set up a commission to investigate um, crimes in Tigray. Of course, it, w it was a lie. We, I mean, we knew it was a lie. We we knew that it wasn't a serious um, it wasn't a serious um, endeavor. It was just an attempt to pretend that it's doing investigation. Nobody no, uh, believed that the African Union um, would be interested in issues of justice in in, in Tigray. Not least because you know the, the AU again is um, strongly aligned with with the um, Ethiopian regime. But anyway, uh, even the fake commission that it had um, set up. Um, has been uh, terminated. Um, so, see resolution on the termination of the mandate of the Commission of Inquiry on the situation in the Tigray region of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. And now, this is very, very, um, it would be comical if it wasn't sad. So, no, uh, no result whatsoever so far. No reason for why they terminated the mandate. Of course, they say that because now uh, relations between Tigray and Ethiopia have normalized because the Ethiopian regime and the Tigrayan authorities are doing the right things. They say that there is no reason for um, a third-party investigation into the into the crimes. Um, uh, uh, hilarious, of course, um, and um, and they 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 don't they don't say why they haven't published the. Um, uh, results because they have been, apparently we are made to believe that the commission has been investigating for the past two years so what are its findings nobody knows and no journalist is interested um, in asking the african union um as to why they have uh, they, they haven't published anything but it, it just um just goes to show how sad um how sad the um the whole thing um, related with the African Union is, I mean, I personally didn't have any expectation, but to, for them to just um, end the mandate without any uh, good reason and without um, trying to publish their results uh, so far uh, is um, it's just a travesty. Uh, and but I, I was, you know, I was surprised because. It, they they just quietly dropped it and it's not even on the news. Nobody's talking about it, uh, and uh, it's, it's it's um it's uh so this was you know this was done in June thirteen and twenty twenty three, uh, so about a month ago. And I don't know how many of you have um, had heard 
about the ending of the of the mandate but um, i heard about it um, only yesterday and the reason was because it was just quietly dropped and nobody uh made any noise about it um and um just to express my my, my not not my surprise because as i said i i didn't have any expectation but um just to express how 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 depressing it is when you think about the African Union and uh, what they do and how they, you know, gaslit the Tigran people, how they um, willingly um, allowed themselves to be used as, as a weapon by the Ethiopian regime. And um, um, history is... Um, is um going to be very very um um unkind to the african union but again there is no person in the african union who has any sense of integrity or dignity so i don't think they they care in the slightest how they will be remembered in history but just um just saying as they say so that that was that uh, for me. Please um, go and um, 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 advocate al along the the lines that the authors of of, of this piece say um, for the mandate of the UN Commission to be extended, for the US to be um, serious about its engagement, uh, and for it to follow a victim-centered um, justice process and. Um, until I see you next time, bye-bye.